It's the Fanatics 5-Minute Fix for this Friday. And, uh, yeah, we got some breaking news here today on Alex Garb Podcasting. Just when you thought the Scherzer de Grom two-headed monster in that rotation for the Mets would be tremendous. Well, Jeff Passan is announcing today that Jacob de Grom is out indefinitely. And Mets fans are just like, oh, well... Same old, same old, I guess. He has a stress reaction in his right scapula. You know, we need some medical advice on that one. Uh, but his time's unknown and expected to lar- miss a large amount of time in 2022. So this Fanatics Friday, a week before opening day, kudos to the Met training staff for providing another dud. And maybe we just say see you in 2023 at this point. I don't know, but... It's uh, it's certainly very disappointing. I'm sure Steve Cohen and the team are disappointed in this. Obviously, he wasn't himself last year. He actually had to be shut down last year, if you remember correctly. And now on his rebound try, he injured himself again. So, the question now becomes, will we ever see Jacob DeGrom pitch again? Or is this going to be a Thor thing where I'm one to start and then he's out of here? Who knows? But today... I was going to talk about something else. Albert Pujols coming back to the Cardinals. So, when Pujols left the Cardinals for the Angels, I thought it was a very selfish move. I thought doing it for the money was so stupid because he could have been a hometown hero in St. Louis, up there with the icons of Ozzy and Stan the Man and Bruce Suter and the, and the like. I guess I could say McGuire too, right? But he decided to try it out in L.A., and of course, the Angels, it was a flop. He wasn't healthy all the time. He was not getting the average he was going to. Goes to the Dodgers last year, where actually I happened to see him hit a homer against the Mets as a Dodger. But so be it. His time in L.A. is out, and he's back to the... He's back to City, uh, to St. Louis. And I think that's a huge deal. I think it's great that he's finally retiring with them. I think he could have played his years with them because, you know, they still had the core. David Freeze and Matheny and, you know, the like. And of course, Adam Wainwright, still a, still leading the staff. Still leading the staff in St. Louis. And he's decades old now, right? So kudos to Albert Pujols for putting his head straight back on to come back to St. Louis and finish his time with the Cardinals. I think that's a big deal. I think that uh, he will be roundly received, obviously. And do you know he left in 2011? So after the 11 season, he left. In 2012, the Cardinals got, quote-unquote, no hit by the Mets in 2012, so he just missed that by a minute, uh, although the umpire missed that call of the foul ball, right? So we don't remember that. Um, but on that front, speaking of Cardinals, Mets, the rivalry in a way, Johan Santana will have that night commemorated um, this upcoming, I think May 31st or June 1st at City Field. And then, and then the big announcement, the first 40,000 fans at the ballpark for the Yankees in September, on September 9th, a year after Jeter gets inducted, you will get a Derek Jeter Hall of Fame plaque. So finally, they're going to recognize Derek after a couple years' wait. The Bronx will be roaring for him, no doubt, this season. And they don't look that bad. You know, without Gary, I think that was a bit of a weight on them. But they don't look that bad. And we'll have to cover this on another five-minute fix, but Bruce Willis calling it quits because of aphasia. We'll have to examine that. And Jim Carrey today uh, announcing that because of the Will Smith-Chris Rock slapdown, he may never want to do comedy again. So our legends are leaving the silver screen. How do you feel about that? Alex at AlexGNYC.com, Alex at AlexGNYC.com, or AlexGNYC at gmail.com.